Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. He was sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us <laughs> our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, you have not approached that which could be touched, and a blazing fire and gloomy darkness, and storm and a trumpet blast, and a voice speaking words such that those who heard begged that no message be further addressed to them. Indeed, so fearful was the spectacle that Moses said, I am terrified and trembling. No, you have approached Mount Zion and the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and countless angels in festal gathering and the assembly of the firstborn enrolled in heaven, and God the judge of all, and the spirit of the spirits of the just made perfect, and Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and the sprinkled blood that speaks more eloquently than that of Abel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. O oh God, God, we honor your mercy within your temple. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts. In the city of our God, God makes it firm forever. O oh God, God, we honor your mercy within your temple. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. As your name, O oh God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of justice, your right hand is full. O oh God, God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. <coughs> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. 
He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. In today's gospel passage, Jesus sends the twelve out on their own for the first time. He set their focus on finding unclean spirits. He gave them a sense of expedience. This urgency was a result of the distractions present in the world of his time. This urgency was grounded in the promise of the kingdom found in the Messiah. Let's explore this a little bit deeper. I want to begin this discussion with an example. Recently, I recorded several episodes of an old TV program, The Twilight Zone. Some of you may recall this. The program was often a parody of the times, conveying the fears of its own time. The episode for our discussion was originally aired in March of 1963 and was titled, No Time Like the Past. Those of you who may recall the early 60s remember the main fears of the era. Mutually assured destruction, UFOs, Vietnam, the threat of communism. In this particular episode, a man, the epitome of a cynic, was preparing to attempt to travel through time on a misdirected mission to affect three different historical events that would, in his mind, right all the wrongs in the world. To quote him, we live in an exquisite bedlam and insanity made all the more grotesque because we do not recognize it as insanity. So the freedom loving make bombs while the aggressors make more bombs. Ultimately, somebody pushes the button and just as ultimately, this earth disappears. That may seem a bit harsh, and I agree it is, but let me reiterate, this was the fear of the people in that era. In Jesus' times, cynics, not too far removed from the man in this example, were in fear of the oppressions they faced. The cynics were proclaiming the downfall of the nation. These 12 men that Jesus sent among the people may have been confused as being among the cynics that were about the land proclaiming all that was wrong with the world. They were dressed similarly and carried themselves with themselves, not more, much more than the clothes on their backs. Yet there was one thing that lifted them above all of the cynics. The cynics, like the man who found himself in the twilight zone, proclaimed all that was wrong and offered no alternative. No solution, no hope. Not so for the twelve. The twelve were sent to proclaim the good news of the promised Messiah, the coming of the kingdom. They went about the land on a matter of urgency. Urgency to expel unclean spirits. Urgency of their message. Urgency of hope. Today this urgent tasking has fallen to you and me. No, I don't mean to say that it is for us to literally go about driving out unclean spirits. But I do mean to say that the urgency of the message is just as important now as it was in Jesus' time. We must not allow ourselves to become like the cynics who stand around us everywhere. We have the message of hope that is the promise of Christ. Our charge is to bring that hope through our actions and our words. So let us all continue to pray to the Holy Spirit for the gift of wisdom to carry out this, our urgent task. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
coming together as one family in faith with us all to God, our prayers and our needs. For all who have bowed themselves to God that with his help they may faithfully keep to their resolve, let us pray to the Lord. Lord God. God. For peace among nations that delivered from all turmoil, the peoples may serve God in freedom of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For the elderly who suffer from isolation or sickness, that they may be strengthened by our love of them as brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. For ourselves gathered here and those watching on video, that as God does not cease to sustain us with the things of this life, we may know how to use them in such a way that we may hold even now to the things that endure forever. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for Jerry Porter, may he rest in peace, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, God, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your strength. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are holy, your Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you, come in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all the truths. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, but sit again in spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread out of giving thanks for it, and 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, save us, us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, who may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and far by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil person, but grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory of your Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Be gracious to grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 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 Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to choose another mind of my fruit, but I will say for her, but not so shall be Thank you. 
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Now, mighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy oh, Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend us to God. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of hell. May God be you in your only prayer. May you be the O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts. By the divine power, Christ in hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, who run the new world, seeking to ruin my soul. Amen. Divine graces. Blessed be God, blessed be the Son of Man, blessed be Jesus Christ, the God and the Man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood, blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit in His soul, blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy, blessed be our holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, her Virgin Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most safe spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.